Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Several five four. Today I have an old school theme deck to open for you guys. This is uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted. Uh, I believe this is yeah, it's the third, the third yeah, the third set from the Heart Gold Soul Silver series. This one is called uh, uh, what are you called actually? Let's see here. The Dawn Daybreak. Yeah, the Daybreak theme deck uh, for Espeon. There was one. With Espeon and the other one is Umbreon. I'm guessing the other one will be Nightbreak or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you can see sort of the card list in the back. But we're going to open the cards since this is old school. Uh, see some good shit in it. Uh, this is could be quite expensive now. I mean, it won't be as much as, a, of course, a, a booster box or what have you from Undaunted. But it's probably double or triple the price of what the theme deck would normally be. And the cool thing is that... Uh, it includes a booster uh, after Undaunted and I think it was Triumphant and uh, yeah, Call of Legends, they included booster packs and I think the black and white sets afterwards included some booster packs in the wall in the theme deck. And let's see what it reads. The greatest trainers are those who blah blah blah, whatever. I'm not going to read everything. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you guys a second I guess to read it if you want to. I uh, got the concept art of Espeon, kind of nice, uh, cool, you have everything you need to play this the Pokemon TCG with this deck. Anyways, let's just go ahead and open this shit up. Man, it's, it's gonna be some shit to open this. Right, okay, good. shrink wrap off so yeah I debated whether I want to open this up and not just sell them flip them uh, since the prices are more expensive now for these but I decided hey there's a booster included uh, let me just make a little opening instead remember the shit uh, since this is old school and this is Espeon I decided I, I want to have it in my collection the Espeon theme deck okay so first of all Gonna go through the deck. So you got the damage counters and the burn marker, poison marker, standard stuff. Uh, let's look at the old school rule book actually. It's like the cart list and the rule book in the back. Pretty slick. Let me smell it because I'm crazy. Crazy like that. Yeah, smells nice. These old school products. So Back then, the rules are kind of different, so if you check this rule book compared with the newer ones now, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of differences. I mean, I actually haven't bought a theme deck from Sun and Moon, or like even X and Y and Black and White, so I wouldn't know uh, what the differences. But yeah, it has a bunch of cards, so you guys can see the special card, Appendix A, Pokemon Legends, the special cards from the era. You got Rayquaza and Deoxys here, Fly. And from the other side, you got the Cartless for Undaunted. Man, I wanted to get an Undaunted booster box, but we missed our chance as well. The same goes for many of those sets. And I guess I'm going to show you guys the mat as well. Let's open this up. It's probably going to be held up. seal it again but okay let's try to open it god damn trying hard not to tear it apart but yeah this is the mat uh, probably can't get a very good look when I have the camera like this but yeah a uh, nice looking mat actually but the prizes you got the bench you got the tips right here. Uh, they probably do this with the newer stuff too. So let me wrap you up again. Okay, that was easy. And let's get to the main shit. Uh, the deck. Uh, it's actually... Let's see, we got a coin here. Cyndaquil. I thought you would definitely get like the Espeon coin with this, uh, this theme deck. Like this is the Espeon theme deck. What the hell is Cyndaquil doing there? So this is the rare Hollow Espeon. I believe this comes as a regular rare in Undaunted, or it might come as a rare Hollow too. I don't know. 
a very nice card. This is probably the, the main reason why I got the set to buy this, to have this card like in this mint condition and as we're a hollow instead of buying it as a single. Okay, we're gonna put you in a sleeve soon, but first of all, let me open the deck too. So the deck comes in this little box, kind of nice, pretty good collectible thing. Shit. And this was around the time when they decided to improve the theme decks, like improve the lines of Pokemon instead of having just, you know, one stage two or stage one, they would have a couple. So, okay, it starts, it seems they put the energies here, or it's just, I guess it's the cards are random. So you got two psychic energies here. You got Eevee, Rattata, another psychic energy. Oddish, you got Sage's Training, Togekiss, and we got more psychic energies. You got the Life Herb. You got Eradicate here. Uh, Ruins of Alf. Okay, didn't know this was in here. Togetic. Psychic Energy, Pokeball, Scyther, Psychic Energy, Eevee again. So you just trying to, yeah, it kind of sucks that they have the cards like uh, all randomized like this. I mean, I guess it doesn't make for a good opening. There is the regular uh, Espeon as a rare. Okay. It's, it's almost sad to say, but this is actually, like, it, it's a better card overall than Espeon Prime. Damn. You got Interviewer's Questions. You got Muck. Uh, Team Rocket's Trickery. This is basically Mars. You draw two cards, and your opponent has to discard a card. The Duo. You got... Oh, shit. Some more Grass Energies. You got Togepi. Uh, more of the same stuff. Dodrio. This one is the one that gives you... Two less retreat on all of your Pokemon, as long as it's around. Uh, you got Energy Exchanger, let's see more Muck, Togetic, uh, Grimer, more of the same, more of the same, and uh, one Blossom, okay. But you guys can see it's not very special, it's not anything really impressive. I guess for back then maybe it was alright. Anyway, okay, so one of the other reasons why I thought maybe uh, open this up is because it includes an Undaunted pack. So let's see if I get lucky. When I've opened up my, uh, what was it, the Triumphant? Or I don't remember, like I opened one Undaunted pack in my life and I got Houndoom Prime. So let's hope we get lucky again like this. Okay, here we go. And I think we actually might have something. I think I, I saw a glistening of some sort. So we got Stunky, Pinko, Makuhida, nice, Markro, we got Aaron, Muck, and Makargo Rare Hollow. Okay, so not a Prime, but a Rare Hollow. That's very good as well. I'll take it. Not bad, not bad at all. We get the other Muck and Flower Shop Lady. Nice little supporter. And another Sage's Training. So... That's basically the Daybreak theme deck, guys. It's just a theme deck opening. I don't have, you know, a lot of more things to do. We looked at the cards. We looked at the deck. We looked at the mat. And, you know, it's a nice little theme deck, I guess. I really wish they would still include packs in the theme decks as well because theme decks are so underwhelming for Pokemon. Uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! If there's one thing that I guess they have going for them is that the structure decks, when they release them, have a bunch of new cards, exclusive stuff. I mean, in a way, that's worse because you you got to buy more products. But if you're a true collector, you want to buy everything anyway. So, yeah. Theme decks, they just have cards that have already, already exist in sets. So, let's just take a, one more final look on the Espeon Rare Hollow here. Very, very nice. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, gonna be posting more of my regular content and unboxings and stuff. So I hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys leave a like and share this with your friends. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Basically, say Rule Four. What's up?